loves the audio chick. Exactly. Very chick. She's she's getting this. First of all, please state your full name for the camera. My name is Bill Ford. Okay, Bill. And tell us a little bit about the guitar that you have, how you got it, um, what is it that makes that guitar special? And can you hold it up a little bit more? Okay. The, car, the guitar I'm holding is um, the guitar that Walk Don't Run 64 was recorded with. Um, this guitar was manufactured in 1962, I believe late 1962, around October or so. Um, the, uh, at this, this originally, like 62 or so, this was possibly Bob's guitar, but they went through the change and uh, Noki became the lead player. This, this was Noki's lead guitar. Um, it is, uh, Built in 62, it's, it has a, a, a Telecaster neck on a, on a Jazzmaster body, so we, we refer to it as a Jazzcaster. And it's probably the very first Jazzcaster in existence. There are, you know, a, a number of luthiers now do this. They'll take a Jazzmaster and put a Tele neck on it. But this was sent back to the factory in Fullerton uh, by the band, and Leo Fenders had his guys put a Telecaster neck on this guitar. And this is, you know, like I said, it's the one that Walked Out Run 64 was recorded with. And I got this guitar. I was the road manager for the Ventures for two years, two plus years. And um, when we'd go out on the road, um, you know, they would take their normal, you know, guitars that they played at every gig, you know, with them. But Don and Bob would always say, you know, go into the closet and get a couple of guitars we can take out, out on the road with us. And we, you know, we had about an eight by 10 closet that was full of guitars. So I would go in and pull out a few, a few guitars and, you know, they'd play them, you know, while we were on the road. And then next, next tour I'd do the same thing. And one time I went in and I found this and I pulled it out and they said, oh, not that guitar, that guitar, I'm gonna, you know, that's the guitar we did Walk Out Run 64 with. So a year later or so, I was leaving uh, my employee with the band and I said, hey, do you remember you guys said that I could have any guitar I wanted in the closet there? And they said, yeah, yeah, you know, go get one. So I went in and I dug around and I found this guitar and I pulled it out and I went back and uh, both Bob and Don were like, oh, but, but, but uh, the, uh, the, that guitar, you know? and I said, look, you guys haven't played this gar guitar in like, you know, 20 years, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of funky. There's actually a couple of little spots of rust here. Uh, we, we never take it on the road. We've never taken it in the studio. And they were just like, okay. Yeah, you can have it. Just, just take it, you know. And I've had it ever since. I've had this guitar now for 35 years. It's only been played about a dozen times by different friends of me, of mine, and um, it's never gigged. I mean, since I've owned it, it's ne never been on a gig. It has pretty much stayed uh, in my closet, standing up in in a factory case or underneath my bed uh, for 30 plus years. That's amazing. Yeah. So, what years did you work for the Ventures? From 19, sometime mid mid, uh, mid 79 through uh, beginning of 82, I think it was. So that was the time when crowds were very rowdy, right? It was a younger crowd listening to the Ventures. 